Hello and welcome to this video on date functions. These are functions that accept date values as input and also returns or outputs date values. The only exception is when using the month between function type. These ones return a number as an output. So an examples of the date functions covered in this video are the four I'm going to cover in this video are the add months, the months between, the next day and the last day. Those are the four I will be covering in this video. There are a few more but I'm going to be just restricting the video to these four just to save time. So the add months, these returns a date value after adding the value x months to the date. The months between returns the number of months between a specified x value and the y date. The next day returns the next day of the specified date. The last day will determine days left in a month from the specified date. I should give examples of these ones. I have got Toad for Oracle Editor open. I should be using this to illustrate the examples of the date function types. I'll start with the add months one. These add months function, date type function, what this will do, it will add the value you give to the value specified in the parameters. Yeah, so it's going to add four months to this 4th of July. So we're going to have four, four months to 4th of July and we're going to select that from the dual table. I've mentioned the dual tables in previous video. The dual tables are a default one column, one row table presenting all Oracle database installations. So if I execute this, there you go. So it's giving me 4th of November 2014. So if I add four months so the value here to 4th of July, it will give me 4th of November 2014. So if you notice the value here, it's in date format. That's an example of the add months function. Alright, so the next function I will be talking about here, the next date function would be months between. If you want to find out the months between one month and the other, the months between function is what you would use. So this is an example here. I want to find the month between the 4th of Jan 2014 and the 4th of July 2014. So if I execute this from the dual table, so it's giving me a minus 6. That means there are 6 months in between 4th of January and 4th of July. The next day function, what this will do it will give the value of the next day from the value specified. So I've said here yeah, the 4th of July, I want the next the, the next day function. What the next day date function would do, it will select the next day from the specified value. So for example, I know the 4th of July 2014 is a Friday. So if I want the next Friday, it will be a week later. So it will be the week of the Friday from this Friday. So if I execute this, it should give me a date for the following week. There you go. So it's giving me the 11th. So the 11th of July will be the next Friday. That's the next day function. The last day, this will give the last day of the month. So if I execute this, there you go, it's telling me that July has 31 days. So the last day of July is the 31st of July. That is an example of the last day function. I thank you for your time in watching this video. I hope they have been useful. In this video, I spoke about the different types of date functions. The, the ones I mentioned were the add months months between, next day, and last day. These were the four I spoke about. I also presented examples of each one. 
Thank you so much.